Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a ESP 6.0 MVC application in Visual Studio 2022. This is very similar to other Visual Studios. So if you worked with 2019 or older, the process really hasn't changed very much. I'm choosing 6.0 because that has an LTS support for Microsoft, so the, this video should remain reasonably valid for the next three years. All right, so typically you create a new project. And this is the first thing you have to pick correctly. You have to make sure you pick the ASP Core Web MVC. So I'm gonna go down here, pick C Sharp. All platforms is fine, and pick Web. And there's several you can pick from. The one I recommend is ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller MVC. Most of these will work, but MVC gives you the most bang for your buck. All right, so I pick that and exit, give it a good name. I'm going to call my computer store, put it somewhere where you won't forget where it is. I'm going to put it on my external. And then next, pick the version you wish. Um, I like six for now. Again, like I said, it's got long-term support. Currently, 6 and 5 are very similar. Um, that's going to change as we move forward, of course. Authentication type, right now we're going to use none. Configure HTTPS is fine. If you're using Docker, turn that on. I'm not. So I'm going to create it. And then let's let it chug for a couple minutes. And here we are. Okay, so what it gives you is it gives you a working application. You see we've got several folders over here in your Solution Explorer. WWW root is where your CSS lives, your JavaScript lives. If you're going to put pictures there, that's where they'll go. Controllers is the code that runs your project. This will be the C in MVC. Um, right now, these are just a couple of pages to respond to you. The program has a home page, an index, which is index and a privacy page, and those respond here. Um, models is where you store your data, and views are where your projects are. If you look under home, we see index, and we see privacy. Not a lot there. Uh, the first run of these takes a while, so I'm going to hit run to get this thing up and running. What should occur is this thing should launch up in your default browser. And you can pick that with a drop down. You get a typical bootstrap version page. Home takes you here, privacy takes you there, and back and forth. Um, since it's bootstrap, it's infinitely adjustable. It's automatically uh, web friendly or mobile friendly, so you don't have to worry about um, too much about res responsiveness. All right. Notice we have a random port here. This number is probably different on your machine. Visual Studio will pick it and just go with it. It's, it's, it's in that range of unused, so you should be fine. All right, so looking at this, the folders again, we see here a shared folder. We have a layout file. This layout file is shared across both pages. Now, this is where your typical HTML head body live. Uh, we have a variety of C sharp add-ons. We have some HTML. We see we're using Bootstrap. Render body is the line of code that takes what's inside of this page and puts it on the layout. Um, anything that's above render body will display above the page. Anything that's below render body will be displayed below the page. So I'll prove that to you. Run that again. There it is. Privacy, home. Now, I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but you get the idea here that right here in this main row is primarily where the stuff goes. Um, each page is a footer that you can modify to your heart's content. Um, likewise, we have a menu bar that we can format your heart's content. All these I'll do as we move forward in different videos.
Thank you. Good luck.